Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to decorate the kitchen and the dining room area with you for spring. It's Friday night and there's currently a blizzard outside, so it looks nothing like spring, unfortunately. We are actually in spring break right now and it feels like it should be winter break from the amounts of snow that we've had. Um, but I digress. Spring is on the horizon. I feel it. I'm excited about it and I really want to get this house decorated for spring so I hope you'll spend some time with me tonight um, and I hope you don't mind the lighting using all of the overhead lights but I think it'll be okay I've done it before but before we get started I have one little question to ask you I want to know do you like to watch decorating videos where the person talks through them like explains to them um, not like necessarily a voiceover, just talking through the video. Or would you prefer a voiceover? Or lastly, would you like to just watch with music? I ask because in several videos ago, somebody told me I talked too much. <laughs> and I was like, oh man. Well, and I my comment to her was, I'm glad that I do kind of a mixture of videos. Um, and you can always just mute me and watch the video if, if you just to hear for the decorations and nothing else. But I'm just curious. Like I said, I will probably do a mixture of both. Um, but I'm curious to just know. So let's get decorating this kitchen for spring. I still really love this area and I hate to switch it up. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these out of the way and we're going to use them somewhere else. And I'm just going to layer that cutting board with this bunny cutting board because i think that this already is pretty for spring and just add a little touch without changing everything up i like to do that i like to to add to the existing decor in little ways without feeling like i have to change up the whole entire scene sometimes i do but a lot of the times i like to just add to what i already have going on or just make little switches here and there this really cute um, carrot garland up here on the hood vent this is very old I got it from probably I can't remember Michaels maybe a long time ago but a few years ago I picked up some really cute carrots from the dollar store and I made another one um, and so they're really easy to make if you are interested and I'm just going to I have some little hooks up here already that I just want to hook them up there like that and I just like how natural they are they're not like super orange but they're really pretty and I just like kind of like how wispy and like free flowing they are yeah. that's cute up there with my boxwood wreath I'm going to leave that up there for now One thing I love about seasonal decor are cute hand towels and yeah, have you ever seen that? I can't remember if it's a meme or what, but like you don't use the hand towels that are on, on, you know, your kids, like you don't use the hand towels that are hanging from the stove because they're for decoration. Yeah, that's what this is for. I really like the little scallop detail on there. This is from Joann's and I just loved the color. It's nice and bright and springy and so I'm just gonna add this here I had some blue ones here that would have worked too but one of my kids used it to clean up some messes so we had to replace it I have this little space here um, that I always keep my crock full of my wooden spoons. I love wooden spoons. If you're in the market for some, 
Um, Hobby Lobby is my favorite place to find them because they have such good ones. Like this one's from Hobby Lobby. I've shared them before, but um, yes, I do use them. All right, I'm gonna layer these two Crocs here. I recently picked up this baby's breath from Hobby Lobby. Look how pretty it is. It's kind of like taupey beige color, not bright white. And I love that it's springy, but not like bam in your face springy. So I'm just gonna put those in there and call it a day. How cute is that? All right, I'm looking for a, one of those little mini lamps because I want to put one right here or in that corner. I'll show you in just a second. But um, I can't find one. So if you guys have any good, I know Target has them, but I cannot find one that I think would look here. I'm kind of wanting a black base one. Um, anyway, I'm loving that trend with the um, lamps in the kitchen. I, I think it adds such a like cozy warmth to it. So anyway, that's side note. Now, I think I just have one more spot on my counters that I want to decorate, and then we'll decorate the open shelves. I'm not sure that you guys have ever seen this little spot of my kitchen. Well, you maybe have, but I usually don't decorate it um, at all because I never know what to put there. But when I was working on my open shelves, I took some things down off of those that I did, I wasn't quite ready to put away. So I'm just kind of creating this little vignette on the, on the fly. I had picked this um, really cute, I think they're peaches. Uh, um, print off of Target's website and I was going to put it on the side of my cabinet here but it just doesn't fit perfectly right and so I am going to layer that right here. I love the colors. I love it. I love it for spring especially and into summer. I'll probably leave it up all summer long. The next thing I'm going to put down is this uh, really thick cutting board. It's going to kind of act as a riser and I'm going to put a bunch of things on top of it. So the little handle I put towards the corner there and I had this um, picture on my open shelf and I just love it. Another one of these green picks. I think they're so perfect for spring. I'm gonna just put this in the back here and I love the texture of that um, picture. I think it's so pretty and I like that the, it's two-toned. And I really like cream against all of my white cabinets. I think it's so pretty. And then I have this stack of bowls which kind of match this um, picture but they're not like part of the same line. And then all I did was in here is put a bunch of these wooden eggs just for a little spring accent. And then right here in front, I am going to put some more wooden eggs inside of this little carton. I just think that's so cute, especially for a kitchen. And create this little, little vignette here. I think it's so cute. I love it so much actually. That I'm probably, I thought, well, maybe I'll just leave it here until, you know, I'm ready to put this stuff back up on my open shelves. But I love it so much that I might just leave it. I've talked about these open shelves a million times on my channel, and I'm not gonna like decorate them with you. I've already decorated them. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through it um, because. It's such an awkward situation and I don't have anybody home to help me um, film it. So up there I kept everything the same that was there before. So if you saw my last video, you, you saw what this looked like. I just added in the colored plates and the little floral bowls. I just, there's just a little touch of spring that way. And then in the corner was that um, circle gold scallop bowl. And I just replaced that with that fern from the Studio McGee at Target line. That stayed the same. 
And then this is kind of where I changed it up a little bit. I moved up my canisters up here because I do use them all the time and moved over my stack of books with my favorite little pair. We, we discussed this the last time. And I put some moss eggs in this bowl instead of the, the pears and I used the pears somewhere else. And I think that's really just a simple touch of Easter and spring. And then over here, I have one of those um, moss wreaths with a little concrete bunny and then some concrete pots. And I just think it's, I think it's really sweet. Okay, I want to just add a little spring to these um, little hooks over here and I'm going to hang up, I showed this recently, it's just a really cute tea towel from Hobby Lobby, I love that. And then on that hook I want to layer another one of these moss wreaths. I love just the way that the linen and the green look together. And then I'll leave this up probably um, for a while. And then I have this really cute Peter Rabbit's tail, um, Peter, Peter Pellet, excuse me, um, towel that I just adore so much. And I'm just gonna hang this on the second hook and I'll probably just leave this up during Easter and then just take it down and leave those two. And I love the linen look, I love the, the texture of the linen um, and then I've always had these little bells hanging up there and I'm just going to keep them because I think they're pretty. I want to keep the table really simple because uh, this is a pretty open room. My living room, my kitchen, and my dining room. And when I come in the door and all I see is on every single table there is a vase with greenery in it. And sometimes it's just overwhelming to me. And so I'm going to keep it very simple on the table here. Starting with this um, pink and white gingham table runner that I had last year from the Target. I don't know if they have it this year or not, but I still like it and I want to use it. I told you I was keeping it simple. I recently picked up this dough bowl for my mantle and it just didn't work out the way I planned. It's just quite not long enough, but I loved it on the table and all I'm going to do in this bowl is put my pears that were um, in that other bowl on the open shelves just to add like that really pretty green texture over here. And I absolutely adore how this looks. Um, I just think it's so simple and yet like festive. And another thing is that it's perfect for summer too. So a lot of this, decor, this decor can lead me clear into summer and that is perfect. All right, I hope you can see this little shelf here. I have Millie here too. Um, she has found this bottom shelf and she thinks that that's her toys. And so currently I, do, I cannot have anything on the bottom shelf that she may um, get into because she's already chewed up one of my favorite carrots that I had down here. So on the bottom shelf, I just have this black little vase with a couple tulips in it. 
and then a, a bowl of eggs. It doesn't look cute, um, and I might change it up. I might find a different home for these things, but in the meantime, that is what that that is what is down here, huh, Millie? Um, but we can decorate this second shelf, and we I always keep this basket on the bottom shelf, and in it are my seasonal hand towels. And so I'm just going to put that there with this matching um, towel from my table runner, kind of hanging out of it like that. And then I shared these in a recent video. I love them. And I'm just going to kind of stick them so that they're coming out of that basket um, a little bit like that. Just to get a little bit of touch of green down here. How cute is that? And then on this side, I have this blue vase that I adore. It's from Hobby Lobby. And then I have a couple of picks in here from a local boutique. And they have cute little white flowers on the end. I'm going to put that right there. One of my favorite things I cannot get rid of for some reason is this fresh cut flowers. I love the color of it. And I'm going to just kind of set it up like this against that basket and then finish the shelf off with a cute little wooden bunny. I haven't had anything on my island for a while except for flesh fresh flowers, which is my favorite thing for the island, but I wanted to create this little vignette and I want to do it on top of this um, cutting board from Hobby Lobby, just to give it a little bit of dimension on the white granite countertop. The first thing I want to do is put this really cute um, galvanized bucket with these real touch um, tulips in it. I love these tulips. They are stunning. And I love this bas this um, galvanized bucket. I used it last year and I had real flowers in it. Um, but it was from Michael's years and years ago. And I hate when I can't find something similar to what I'm using. And then over here, I have this bunny from um, Pottery Barn that I love so much. They're on sale right now. I'll link them below. And then I have this linen towel that I want to kind of layer on the on here just just to add some texture and I also have a little candle that I just picked up at Target it's seagrass and bergamot and it smells so good so good and I really liked the really pretty green color of the jar and so I'm just going to add this cute little bunny right here and hold it. I kind of want to put a bow around him, except for I don't have any ribbon right now. So I'm going to be looking for some ribbon, but I think that's darling. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I guess tonight's video, it's nighttime. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the description box for links of anything that you may be interested in, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.